Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Anton and I am back with another episode of the GTA 5 Firefighter mod. Today, we are with the Blaine County Fire Department and we are actually hanging out here in the newly upgraded Sandy Shores Fire Station. Let me quickly show you around. I'm in the meeting room right now. This is where we have our official fire briefings discussing all of the fire business. And then let me just walk over here this way. This is all the second floor here of all the upgrades that they put in. Um, you can see now we have these individual sleeping rooms where the firefighters can sleep, can relax between shifts, the dresser, bed, basic essentials, basically. Uh, and I'll show you here another one. So we have all of these throughout the uh, throughout the second floor. There's a computer over here, some magazines to read and stuff. So just when you're hanging out at the Sandy Shores Fire Station, not a heck of a lot of activity here in Sandy Shores, so there's a lot of downtime. So uh, very important to have those uh, magazines, computer entertainment stuff. Then down here, we have a weird rope that's sticking through the building. Again, this is Sandy Shores, so we're not expecting like world-class build quality. But we got a little entertainment lounge area right down here. The TV, uh, some really mm, used nice couches. <laughs> uh, live dining room table, a uh, bunch of, mm, I guess, worksheets or whatever that is. I got a bit of a little bit of a kitchen going on over here. And I guess the bathroom and then, of course, uh, is this the bathroom? I think this is the bathroom. This is a change room. No, I'm not sure where the bathroom is. It's okay, you can just go outside. It is Sandy Shores. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, entering here into the garage area, that's where we have all of our fire trucks. So this is where we are today. We're gonna uh, hang out here. We're gonna wait for some calls to come in and see what happens on this episode of GTA 5 Firefighter Mod. <laughs> feed snowball snowball it's dinner time okay let me see here i think i got the cat food right over here somewhere oh there it is okay let me get the cat food going snowball where are you snowball where is that darn kitty snowball snowball it's dinner time snowball Snowball! Where are you? Oh gosh darn it! Where is that kitty Snowball? Are you out here somewhere? Where are you Snowball? Snowball I can hear you! Snowball! Where are you? This is 911. What emergency service do you require? Oh my goodness! Uh, my cat Snowball is stuck up on the water tower here in Grapeseed. Oh my goodness! I need the fire department. Send them in here immediately. I need Snowball rescued right now. Thank you. The fire department are en route to your location. Okay, thank you, Snowball! Hang on, Snowball! They're coming for you! Okay, guys, we just got a call here. It uh, looks like a kitty cat is stuck up in the water tower, so we're gonna go ahead and respond out that way. We're gonna be taking our big ladder truck here with us. I'm gonna climb in here, and I think uh, we're also gonna have a Tahoe responding with us, Code 3, as well. Let me go ahead and start pulling out here. I'm just gonna wait for the Tahoe to get going, get all the firefighters into the cars and ready to go. Are they, I think they're just getting ready right now. Uh, dispatch uh, Tower 32. Uh, is going to be responding code 3. Looks like they're getting into the Tahoe and we are heading out that way. Code 3. So let's go ahead and pull out of the fire station. Oh, sorry. Just have to make a turn there. I forgot to make a turn. All right, let me just catch up to the Tahoe. So we are on our way to Grapeseed where that poor kitty cat is now stuck 
on top of the water tower and is trying to get down and cannot. And that poor old lady <laughs> that that uh, that called us for a cat. So here we are responding now, code three. So let's let's go ahead here, make the left turn, and we're now heading uh, eastbound here on East Joshua. People moving uh, a little bit to the side, which is great. So the Tahoe here, of course, leading the way for us. We're right behind them. We left some more firefighters at the station there, but that's okay. Because if we get any more calls, they can respond to those. And we do have the uh, the battalion chief here with us, just in case things escalate here on this uh, on this very serious situation. All right, let's make a left-hand turn again. Looks like that guy is stopping for us. There we go. I'll jump into first person here for a little bit as well as we, uh, oh, missed my camera there. As we uh, continue on uh, CV Road. Oh, let me go around this van here. There we go. All right, so fire chief there trying to clear the way for us. Um, so the idea basically is once we show up there, we're basically gonna extend our ladder and try to see if we can get the kitty cat from the water tower. That is the plan and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully the lady and the kitty cat are still there when we arrive. I'm sure the the lady is still gonna be there. The kitty cat, I don't know. I hope it doesn't I hope it doesn't fall off the water tower. Alright, I think I see the water tower there, so we're just coming around right now onto uh, the main street here onto Grapeseed. We've got some more traffic here that we're gonna try to clear past. There we go. I'll go back into third person here so we can get a better look as we pull up on scene. Uh, looks like some people trying to slow down here for us, which is great. And he is gonna... I don't know where the battalion chief here is gonna pull up to, but we'll see uh, if I can maybe make my way here a little bit closer to the water tower. Looks like we got another unit arriving on scene as well. Whoa, watch out. Watch out, people. Alright, looks like we got quite a bit of a situation. Oh, he just smacked right into that telephone pole. Alright, let's see if I can pull up maybe right around him like this. Oh, there's the lady. We see her, so she's right at the base here of the tower. And yep, there's the kitty cat right up there. Snowball needs some rescuing. Uh, dispatch uh, Tower 32, go ahead and show us uh, 1023. All right, I'm gonna get the outriggers extended. Let me go talk to the lady. Uh, hello there, ma'am. My name is Anton with the Blaine County Fire Department. Uh, what's going on today? Oh, my kitty cat, Snowball! He needs some rescuing. Please get him. Okay, ma'am, we will definitely get him for you. Don't worry, just stay put here. And uh, I'm gonna get my ladder extended. We'll go up there and we will get Snowball, okay? Just hang on tight. So, let me climb back into the truck. The first thing that I need to do is I need to get the big outriggers here, the uh, the ones on the side. I need them folded out. So, we actually have to go into our options here. And as the ladder already starts to move, but then we have to go into the doors, because this is actually one of the doors here on the truck. So I think we're opening, we're opening, let's see here, open rear right? Nope, that's not it. Uh, open hood, there we go. Open hood and open trunk, I think. There we go. So we got them both extended. We still got our rear right door open. I guess I can close that. So there you go. The trunk and the hood, they control those big outriggers that you see on the side. The rest is going to be our ladder. So let's go ahead and start getting that ladder up. Like that. We'll get our platform adjusted here also. Like so. There we go. Let's swing that around now. Okay, I hope the ladder is long enough to actually extend up there. All the way up to Snowball. I'll try to get it as close as possible to him. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Alright, let's just make sure that we can get it up there. Get it extended this way and then where snowball snowball is up there i see him really hard to see the ladder here but we'll try to do our best oh there we go okay i think i think that's good enough actually all right i think that's great i think we got it all the way up to snowball basically let me just climb out here and visually inspect the ladder yep i think actually that looks pretty good i see a little piece of snowball sticking out uh from up there and i think we got the ladder uh all the way up to snowball okay ma'am I'm gonna go ahead and climb the ladder. We'll get Snowball down for you, okay? Just hang on tight. All right, here we go. Up to the ladder we go. Uh, maybe I try back here. I gotta climb on top of this truck. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> Walking right through it. Clearly some clipping issues here with the truck. That's okay, I'll get up there. Watch this, right here. Okay, here we are up on the platform. Come here, Snowball. Come on. Come on, Snowball. Jump. Jump, Snowball. 
Okay, he's not. He, I think he's scared. Let me go ahead. I'm just gonna grab him and hopefully he's not gonna freak out. Come on, Snowball. Come on. <laughs> we got Snowball. Okay, ma'am, here's Snowball for you as I just drop him on the ground. Here you go. You're welcome. Oh, Snowball, my favorite kitty. Oh, are you okay? Oh, thank you so much there, Mr. Fireman. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, ma'am, no worries. Hopefully Snowball is not going to be doing any of those tricks again. All right, we're going to get out of here. She got her cat back. Uh, those guys are still just sitting there. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pack up my truck. And we are going to go back to the station. Uh, so pretty cool here how this truck is actually able to reach all the way on top of that uh, water tower. And that's awesome. And uh, now it is time to bring the ladder back in. Like that. We'll uh, swing it back around here to this side, like so. Looking good, looking good. We'll get that platform straightened out as well before we uh, retract it and put it down. Put the outriggers back in and we'll be uh, code four. So let's go ahead and lower that down. Get that platform as well. There we go. Nice. Oh, hold on. Needs a little fixing right there. All right, I think we're good. I just got to... Straighten it out like so. Uh, that looks good. That looks excellent. That looks perfect. Okay. Excellent. Uh, go back here into vehicle options, doors. And we want to close the hood, close the trunk. We are done. Let's get the normal outriggers up as well. And uh, we're going to try to pull out here. We are going to be code 4 and 10-7 back to the station. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash that like button. Check out some more videos here on the channel. And I will see you on the next one. Bye!